Hello friends, welcome to Portion Cozy Studio. Today's video is about how to use a sewing machine. Many of you would know what's a sewing machine, but you may have practical difficulties on how to start using it. Without further delay, let's get started. I'm using Usha Genome's Dream Stitch model. Here's the power switch and next to it is a socket wherein two wires emerge. One is for power and the other one is for the pedal. Here is a spindle to hold the thread in place. This lever is used to set and release the presser foot. It goes up and down when you push and pull. There is another lever behind the needle that this is used to remove the presser foot. Now let's see how to fix the presser foot back in its place. There is a small line in the presser foot. As you can see, there is a small groove here. Place the presser foot's line and the groove such that it coincides and push the presser foot lever down to lock the foot in place. Adjust the footer accordingly to fix it in place. As you can see, now the presser foot is fixed in place. The lever goes up and down as well as the presser foot goes up and down. For releasing, press the lever behind the needle and the presser foot comes off. Now let's see what's in the extension table. Open it. There is a small vent. Push the vent open. Here the bobbin casing and the bobbin are fixed here. Now let's see how to wind the bobbin to wind take the thread it should go above like this and now place it in the spindle and guide around the thread guide and through the tension disc now manually wind the bobbin few times Place it in the bobbin winder. After placing the bobbin, push it right. Here there is a hand wheel. When we turn it, the needle goes up and down. When we press the pedal, the wheel as well as the needle goes up and down. Hence making stitches on the cloth. For winding the bobbin, we don't need the needle to move. Now I have connected the power cables and I press the pedal. As you can see, both the wheel and the needle moves. But this feature is not needed for winding the bobbin. Therefore, we will pull the hand wheel. Pulling the hand wheel, the needle doesn't move but winding alone will happen. Now we can continue to press the pedal to wind the bobbin. Now the bobbin is winded. Let's cut the threads. Remove it from the spindle. And let's see how to fix it in the bobbin casing. Now bring the thread above and push it inside the bobbin casing and pull the thread gently through this small gap. Pull it gently as the thread might break. So pull it over the other small gap and now it's ready. Now fix it in the shuttle. You will hear a click sound when you push it. Now the bobbin is in place. Now push the hand wheel. Let's see how to thread the needle. Bring the thread from the guide and bring it down and pass it around the U curve here and firmly slip the thread into the slit and draw the thread down 
to the needle and thread it. Now the needle is threaded. Just pull the thread for 3 to 4 inches and we are done with threading. We have loaded the bobbin shuttle and threaded the needle but this isn't enough to start stitching. We need to bring the bobbin's thread up to the foot plate only then the stitches will fall in place. We will see how to bring the bobbin's thread up. For this rotate the hand wheel towards you. When the needle goes in and comes back, it pulls the thread from the bobbin and brings it up. Now pull the threads together to 3 to 4 inches and put the threads behind the foot. Now we are ready. We will close the vent and place the extension table. The machine is ready for sewing. Before we start stitching, let's select the type of stitch. This is a stitch selector wheel. The types of stitches can be selected from here. A for closed straight stitch, B and C and zigzag stitches and various other stitches are also available. For now, I am using stitch type B. This wheel is for tension selector. I have selected number 2 and stitch type B. This will work perfect for a cotton cloth. There are tensions like 3, 4, 5 and 6. But if the tension goes more, the thread might break while stitching. So we will keep it in stitched. We will keep it in number 2 and stitch type B. Now we will do some straight stitch. Place the cloth under the presser foot. Push the lever down and pedal one at a time. You will get a single stitch for one press like this. For continuous stitches, gently press the pedal. Go steadily and slowly. You will have a control over the stitching. When you reach the end, turn the cloth. Again fix the footer and start stitching. Now we will see how to do a lock stitch. By doing this, the stitches will not rip apart. For this, hold this reverse stitch control and press the pedal simultaneously. Now the reverse sewing is done. Next, release the reverse stitch control and make few forward stitches. When sewing front and back in the same place, the stitches are secure. So when we pull the thread, it doesn't come out. So you can do this lock stitch whenever you start a seam or while in the seam, you can do the lock stitch to keep it in place so that the thread doesn't rip apart. So you can continue stitching. Now we will see how to fold the raw edges and do a seam for a square piece of cloth. Fold the side twice for quarter inch and place in position and start sewing. Also you can try folding the other side before finishing the side seam so you can sew continuously around the sides.
swing slowly when you reach the corner keep the needle in release the lever and turn the cloth place in position and put the lever down and start sewing you can do it for all the other sides the same way Now we have seen how to fold and sew the raw edges of a square cloth. In case while sewing your needle breaks, let's see how to change the needle. Remove the thread. Now there is a screw beside the needle. Just loosen the screw slowly and the needle comes off. Now while stitching if this needle breaks, we will see how to fix the needle. This needle is not the same as the ordinary needle. There is a flat side and a curved side. The flat side should be facing opposite and the curved side to your side. And now there is a small opening, fix it inside it keeping the flat surface opposite to your side now slowly insert it into the small opening push it as much as possible Do it slowly, carefully. Now tighten the screw. Tighten it well or else this needle also might break while stitching. Now push the hand wheel up and down the needle goes in and comes out perfectly now thread the needle and the machine is ready for sewing again i hope this video was useful to you all thank you for watching bye